So if you've been trying to get the previous mod fix to work, this is why it hasn't been working. Essentially in this video, it's the last mod fix you'll need and it would have been, but as people normally do, they take something that was working and then break it to try and improve it, but at the end of the day, it's just more hassle than it is worth. And essentially that's all that's happened here. They took the previous app, which you can see in my previous video, it looked a bit like this. It was very coarse. To a lot of people that would look kind of scary so they've took that and they've made it into a proper application so in this video i'm going to show you the new application and it's essentially going to be the same method i'm going to take you through it though there's going to be a new link in the description and in the comment section pinned but yeah essentially this has just been reskinned just a quick little note before I show you how to get into it. If you play any other Frostbite engine games, you must disable this mod fix for them other games to run properly and smoothly. Otherwise, this mod fix may interfere with the other games. Also, it works directly from Origin itself, so you can just launch the game through there. However, I would recommend loading the game through Frosty Mod Manager, as this will most likely guarantee everything is working fine and it will refresh the mod list to keep it up to date if frosty mod manager is giving you an error then it is most likely an issue with your mod setup or how you have configured your frosty mod manager and this new fix will not solve them issues you'll have to go in and fix them yourselves i would recommend trying one mod at a time to make sure that individual mod works if you put on two and then it stops working there's a clash this fix will also work with battlefront one battlefront two battlefield five any of them sort of games Obviously this is a video on Battlefront 2 though, so go and try and find a video on the respective game you're looking for. Here is the web page that will be in the description below. We're going to be downloading 2.21. If it goes up a few points, then it'll most likely be staying the same. It probably won't get updated too much now, as as you can see, the user interface is essentially really good looking now. As you can see here, it shows Battlefront 1, Battlefront 2, Battlefield 1, Need for Speed, Need for Speed, Payback, Mass Effect, Plants vs Zombies and Dragon Age. So these are the supported games. It will most likely work for others, but as I say, if it's any other game other than Star Wars Battlefront 2 that you're looking for, try and find that video first. So once you arrive at this page, you want to scroll down, Frosty Fix, it's going to download. I already have it downloaded. So as you can see here in my downloads folder, the Frosty Fix. Just drag it over to the desktop. And here you go, here is Frosty Fix. You just want to double click into it. This will come up just as the old method did. It's just because it's a line of code that Windows is not familiar with. Just click run anyway. And here you go. If you want to check Star Wars Battlefront 2, as you see here, all the other options are grayed out because I do not have any of the other games but it has detected Battlefront 2, and that is why it's white. As you can see here, this is gray. I don't have it, I can't click it. This is white, I've clicked it, I've selected it. If I unselect it, can't click that, I've clicked that. Now, all you've got to do is come over and it enable mods. So what I'd recommend is just to restart the PC anyway, as it'll just give it a thorough reboot. For the sake of this and the fact that I'm recording, I'm only going to restart Origin. For you, if you have EA Desktop, that will be white and then Origin will be grayed. But as you can see, I have Origin. Just restart Origin there. And as you can see here, Origin pops up. It's all restarted. You've got to sign in again. So I'll be with you in a second. As you can see here now, I've logged in. Just maximize that here. Recent games, it's all going to be the same. You're not going to have to reinstall anything. And here it is. And it should be working now. Just right click on this cover art here. Go to game properties. Make sure there's no command line arguments from previous mod fixes that you may have done. Make sure that is completely empty. Just go back to general and click save. So now that you're fully logged in to Battlefront 2, all you need to do is just minimize this. Put for the frosty fix wherever you want. I'm going to put mine in there. Now for this mod fix, I do recommend you delete Frosty Mod Manager and any previous mods. Just download a fresh version of the Frosty Mod Manager app. Essentially, this will just reset everything you have. It will give it a clean slate to work on. So you just go here, download. I've already clicked download. And as you can see here, here's my new Frosty Mod Manager. So once you've extracted that, you'll just get this little folder, double click into it. Frosty Mod Manager, double click into that. And here we go. Select new. And it will come up with choose game executable just go to wherever your game is located most people's are in program files x86 mine are in the primary folder origin battlefront 2 and here we get 2 make sure you do not click trial it is star wars battlefront ii 
Star Wars Battlefront 2, select into it, this is now loaded. You can exit out of that folder and this is what we've got. Now I'm going to prove to you that this works by using this mod right here. So all you need to do is click import mods, mine's on a desktop, test.fb, you can see the predator by this guy, improve normal maps. So this is going to be replacing boss, so you click apply mods, it's got a little check, make sure it's got a check, make sure it has no clashes, nothing wrong with it, click launch. And this is where it's going to be taking you through the new installation steps. Make sure you select yes. It's gonna go through the applying mods. Basically what it's just done there is created a new mod data file. If the applying mods get stuck on the end like it is now, just wait. The first is always gonna take a while, especially when you're applying new mods. Let it do its thing, it will work. It's just shut and it's now selected the origin tab at the bottom as you can see here it's highlighted. So now it's doing something to origin. Just let it do its thing. So after that frustrating bit of troubleshooting there, just make sure your Epic Games is fully updated as it won't kickstart the game properly. But as you can see now I've got that out of the way, the game fully loads, you can see the Predator here and it's also connected to the internet. However, when you first load in, it most likely will not be connected to the internet. So in the top left, you have to click the connect button. However, this won't work the first time in most cases. It might take up to two to three tries. Just keep on clicking it until it finally connects to the internet. And then you'll be free to play with friends, uh, random online multiplayer, anything like that. So I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching. Got a big Warzone video coming out soon. It's taken a long time to edit it and get it ready. So if you want to see that, make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified when that comes out. Again, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.